Greetings and welcome home, Natural Health Nation. Great to be with you here on 96.9 Boston Talks. And it's great to have my partner back. Hey, how's it going? How are you, Candida? Good, I'm doing great. And uh, you're, you're, of course, busy getting ready for your upcoming event. That's right, the Healthy Living Magazine Expo, September 12th, 10 to 5, North Andover. We... It's booked. It's that is going to be it's packed, jamming. We're so excited! You're doing a special presentation for us. I'm looking forward to being healing there. Healing disease with food at 1 p.m. I'm very excited about being there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, folks uh, interested, perhaps that are not uh, involved at this point, what, what do we? Where do we send them? Yep, they could check out my website. It's myhealthylivingmag.com, and the event it's on 130 acres right in North Andover at the Stevens Ooh. Estate. It's a beautiful mansion. Everything is set outside on the lawn. We have a person coming in. They're doing a, a full labyrinth there. People could walk the oh, labyrinth. Man. We have Zumba, yoga, different um, it seminars. It is going to be amazing. I'm and there's so a lot excited. of great uh, a lot of great uh, events that you've got there. A lot of folks who uh, yeah. are very in, very much in the forefront of the uh, natural health industry. So mm -hmm. folks can actually, what kind of things will folks be able to pick up on there? And they're so excited about the show, too, because a lot of them have been tuning in. And it's great of to course. have you on board. Uh, weight loss detoxification, sound healing, chakra clearing we're going to be doing, healthy cooking demos. Um, we have a seminar, Overcoming Emotional Eating. We have a bunch of children's, children's activity there. Um, we have a great sponsor. The YMCA is going to be great. there. and It's going to be fun. And, of course, nothing better than a natural health expo that time of year to kind of get yourself set up for the new year. Kids back in school, everybody back to work. Yep. Summer's uh, soon to be behind. And early September is a great time to kind of get yourself back in the saddle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think that's right. Be great fun. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna uh, we've got some real special guests in this evening. We're gonna be speaking in a little bit here with uh, Veronica Kent and Michelle Clark from Alates Medical Labs. Of course, I always talk about Alates here on the show. They're not only a great sponsor, but I think you know for us they're a great uh, support in the work that we do because so many folks mm -hmm. who are looking to get well and looking to kind of eat well are doing so generically. You know, everybody says, "Hey, you just got to eat your fruits and veggies," which, which of course is an important point. But you got to make sure that you can tolerate what you're eating, and they're right. really all about that. Uh, as we said with a crossover with Jimmy a little while ago, 60 to 80 million Americans suffer from delayed onset food allergies. Uh, the sure. symptoms of delayed food allergies, of course, provoke over 100 al allergic symptoms and over 150 different medical mm -hmm. conditions. So, so many folks that I've seen over the years that uh, were or originally diagnosed with one thing, maybe depression, etc., anxiety problems. Once we got to the bottom of the food problems and eliminated those problem foods, the body worked better, the brain worked better, the immune system functioned better, and those symptoms in many cases cleared up. So we're going to have a great conversation with them about food allergies, about food intolerances, food That's reactions. Right. But And they're so in line with your whole mission about bio-individuality. Individuality. I mean, everybody, you know, the, your body talks to you. Once, you do that with the muscle testing. One size does not fit all. That's We've right. got to make sure that we're starting to really focus on the specific individualized diet. And that's really what we're going to talk about tonight because Thanks folks so. suffering from uh, symptoms such as anxiety, depression, memory problems, food cravings, arthritic problems, uh, you know, uh, ear infections, chronic ear infection, a lot of the kids with the chronic ear infections, irregular heartbeat, asthma, chest pain, bronchitis, these all in many cases are associated with food allergies. So it's really important that folks understand and appreciate the power and the potential of really getting to the bottom of what you may be sensitive to, eliminating it from your diet, and allowing your body and your mind to get a lot clearer. Sounds good. So we're going to have a chat with them. And again, Alatest Medical Labs uh, been involved in this process of testing folks for food allergies and whatnot for over 30 years. So uh, they are on top of that whole process, and we're going to have a great conversation with them. And uh, in general, we're going to talk about food allergies. A lot of folks, of course, are familiar with the whole idea of, of uh, gluten intolerances. I know a lot more people are familiar with uh, gluten intolerances than they are with food allergies in general. And uh, a lot of folks, of course, are sensitive to wheat dairy products, uh, corn products, soy products, some of the primary allergens, eggs. Uh, but we're going to talk a lot about what happens when folks are sensitive to some of those not-so-common foods as well. 
So it should be interesting stuff, and uh, we'll bring them in in just a few moments. It's and, exciting. Uh, it is exciting. It definitely is. Um, also, we did an interesting piece. We were chatting uh, before we went on the air tonight about the piece we did uh, this past on Fox Thursday 25. on Fox 25. We've gotten Amazing. deluged with uh, emails yep. and a lot of interest uh, regarding the natural cholesterol support systems. You know, the folks out there really need to know that uh, we brought them the information that uh, half of the people who suffer heart attacks, half of the heart attack population, has a low or normal cholesterol level. Very very few people know that. Right. Very few people are familiar with the fact that there's over 900 studies hmm. that indicate the potential side effects of statin drugs. So, you know, folks are interested in the alternatives, and there are some viable alternatives. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition published 17 different uh, double-blind clinical studies regarding the red yeast rice as a very valuable uh, anti-cholesterol agent. So there are some great things. The pantothene studies that are going on right now, great pantothene studies, which is a form of vitamin B5. Uh, there's some remarkable studies regarding GPLC. We've talked about that on the program. So folks are really fascinated with that whole topic. We've gotten deluged, as I said earlier, with information questions. So we're thrilled people are watching uh, Fox 25 segment that comes up on Thursdays. and uh, Every other Thursday. Every other Thursday, that's it. And, and you but you check out the website if you want to look at the old stuff because we've got it stored on there so you can take a peek at that. It's great. As soon as you log in, it pops right Bang, on. right there on the front page. <laughs> it's it's, it's like w- late w- breaking w- news. W- it is. It is. www.maxhealing.com We're going to be back right after these messages with Veronica Kent, Michelle Clark, Clark from Alatest Medical Labs. We're going to talk with you about food allergies. Stay right where you are. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Your talk, your talk, your talk. 96.9 Boston Talks. You know, when most people hear the word allergies, they think only of hay fever-like symptoms associated with airborne pollen, dust, and mold. But did you know that many experts estimate that between 60 and 80 million of us suffer from immune-related food allergies without even knowing it? Furthermore, food allergies often contribute to serious health problems such as autism, irritable bowel syndrome, ADD, headaches, and chronic ear infections. Now, there's an effective way to identify and eliminate both your food allergies and the troubling symptoms that they aggravate. Halitess Medical Labs at Food Allergy.com offers a full complement of clinical, environmental, and food allergy testing to help you get to the root of your allergy problems. Alatest also provides you with a comprehensive rotation diet, lifestyle booklet, and a wallet card to help you live food allergy-free and stress-free. Do you wonder if you or your loved ones are among the 60 to 80 million? All righty, welcome back. As promised, we've got two folks who are experts in the field of food allergies. and We've got Veronica Kent, Michelle Clark from Alatest. Medical Labs. Welcome in, guys. Thanks, Mark. How are you? Great, great. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you guys are, what you got going on at the Alatest these days. How's everything? Alatest is really busy. It is a, a company that it's been in business now for almost 30 years, doing both inhalant and food allergy testing in Rockland, Massachusetts. Great stuff. And uh, we're, of course, always talking. But you probably want to bring that mic a little closer to you right there, Michelle. There you go. You know, when we always uh, talk here on the program about the importance of folks getting in touch with the specific foods that may be problematic. A lot of folks, of course, think, you know, generically speaking, let's just go out and eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and lean proteins. Everything will be fine and dandy. But uh, you're going to share with everybody out there that it doesn't always work out that way. Absolutely. We're finding more and more uh, patients and people in general are uh, eating well. However, these uh, healthy foods sometimes seem to be problematic for them. So what we're doing is we're defining uh, with our allergy testing at the laboratory if uh, people have culprit foods that are causing uh, issues in in dietary complaints. And what exactly, uh, folks, uh, for folks who are not really familiar, what exactly is food allergy testing? What we're doing... First, I'd like to define what an allergy is. An allergy is an immune response to a particular item. So your immune system has immunoglobulins. Immunoglobulin E, or IgE, is responsible for a true allergic response. Mm -hmm. If you eat a peanut, say, and your throat starts to close up, you have an acute and immediate response. For food sensitivities, it's immunoglobulin G, which is a more delayed response, chronic, as you right, said, up right. to seven days. Mm-hmm, yeah. 
We're seeing more uh, IgG responses um, uh, more than ever so that these foods can be, you know, dose-related and uh, only a small portion of, of our patient population actually has a true IgE, as Veronica had mentioned, allergy, where it's more of these delayed responses that are causing these chronic symptoms and right. diseases. Well, one of the things, I, I love uh, Dr. James Braley. He, he, of course, has educated America about this process over the years and it goes on to tell us that 60 to 80 million Americans suffer from delayed onset food allergies, and the symptoms of which uh, provoke over 100 different symptomatologies, over 100 different symptoms, uh, and over 150 different medical conditions. That's right, Mark. And these um, statistics are getting uh, larger. Uh, they're epic proportions, and almost every system within our body is affected by foods. Most importantly, we see the gastrointestinal issues of IBS, gas, bloating, respiratory issues such as asthma, dermatologic, eczema, and psoriasis. Autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis is also linked with uh, food sensitivity. Mm -hmm. And then we have the neurological issues such as ADD, ADHD, migraine headaches, um, as well as musculoskeletal, achy joints. So there are many conditions and sy systems within our body that are truly affected by food allergies and sensitivities. You know, two years ago, uh, this past June, just prior to moving in our new offices, I had a woman come in who was in her late 30s, and uh, the primary problem we found with her was was a very serious problem with uh, wheat allergies, gluten intolerance. She was on six different antidepressants, was uh, really, really uh, incapacitated, literally, with her depression, couldn't work. Uh, she was really in bad shape. Got her off the wheat, and she is now back to work. She is off the antidepressants, and she is a Astounded, a very happy person, thrilled to know that uh, she really didn't have what she thought she had. She thought she had an incapacitating condition that uh, there was no hope for. Got her off the wheat, and suddenly everything changed. Her life opened back up again. So, you know, these are very serious, potentially very serious problems. Of course, anxiety, depression, memory problems, food cravings, arthritis, ear infections, chronic ear infections, asthma, bronchitis, uh, irregular heartbeat, chest pain. So many serious problems really correlated with these uh, very serious food intolerances, food allergies. Um, you know, one thing I wanted to, to ask you folks is uh, you mentioned that uh, there are eight foods that account for 90% of all food allergic reactions. That's astounding. What are the eight foods? They are, Mark, they are milk, wheat, corn, soy, tree nuts, peanuts, shellfish, and fish. Wow, wow, that is astounding, 90% uh, eight foods, that is truly amazing. Um, we should also mention again our phone number here in Boston, New England, 617-822-1969, Verizon Wireless users, it is a toll-free call, just dial pound 96.9. Folks uh, interested in asking questions to the experts here regarding food allergies, how about we take a call or two here, what do you think? Sounds good. Any, anybody have uh, any questions for Veronica or for Michelle? Uh, well, we've got Ed on the line from Plymouth. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show on the Natural Health Show. Hello. Hello, Hello Edward. I have a question about allergies. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was wondering why food allergies are on the rise. Why do you gals ch tackle that? Well, that's a good question, and actually, it's true. Food allergies are on the rise. There are many different hypotheses. Part of it is uh, that we have the hygiene hypotheses that our children grow up in such clean environments that their immune system never gets a chance to really fully develop. Mm -hmm. Also, the Western diet is high in fat, calories, proteins, could be a contributing factor. As well as, in this country, we do not give children certain foods till they're older. So when you have a child under one, usually you're told don't give them peanuts or shellfish or tree nuts. So mm -hmm. we wait. The exposure is later. And Michelle actually has some great statistics on that. Yeah, actually, uh, there was a study reported by the Journal of Allergy and uh, Clin Clinical Immunology. Uh, the study was based in Israel and the U.K., Peanut allergies were common in children in the UK than in Israel. So they were more common uh, in, in uh, Israel. So, excuse me, in UK. This was associated that 69% of the Israeli children received peanuts by nine months of age. Hmm. So much earlier, the introduction, compared to 10% of the infants 
in the UK. So they're getting that introduction of this right. particular food protein at a younger age. Very early age, yeah. That uh, sensitivity. Well, one thing, Edward, that I might uh, throw in here too real quickly is that uh, Dr. Alessio Fasano, who is the medical director of the Center for Celiac Research, uh, tells us that there are 3 million Americans with celiac disease or gluten intolerance right now. We might refer to that as a weed allergy. Uh, but it says only 5% are accurately diagnosed as we speak. So I think our, our ability to track it, to diagnose it, to pay attention to it, to start thinking in these terms is starting to expand. Um, I also would tell you this. I, I recently read that the glutenization, if you will, of our wheat products has Im increased by 90% over the past 75 years. So the, the wheat products are becoming more glutenized. Now, what does that mean? I always tell folks, if you cook some pasta, leave it on the stove overnight, come down the next morning, it looks like wallpaper paste. You that's know, it swells and it's very thick and it's very dense, molecularly speaking. And that's really what gluten is all about. Gluten is very, very heavy, very occlusive. And the glutenizing of our wheat products have Im increased by 90% over the past 75 years. So our food processing plays a role as well. Uh, Edward, hopefully we answered some of your questions, and thank you so much for calling. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got time for another couple calls here. We've got uh, John from Stoughton. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You have a question about food allergies. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering if there was a difference between uh, the allergy test method they're talking about and regular skin testing for allergies. And if so, what is it? Well, there certainly is a difference. Skin testing is usually done in a physician's office where the actual allergen is introduced into the skin. With skin testing, what they're looking for is a reaction on the skin, which can actually, you'll sit in the office for about an hour. When you leave, that reaction can actually happen up to eight hours. So they're looking at immediate response. With laboratory testing, what we do is we're actually quantifying antibody levels specific to each individual food or inhalant. And with skin testing, sometimes you have to be off of different medications, beta blockers that you can't have. They'll actually interfere with the testing. So the laboratory testing, we can test many different items from one sample of blood. Well, thank you so much for the call, sir. And um, I actually have a question for one of you ladies. Uh, delayed food reactions or sensitivities uh, are very common. Are they reversible? Folks want to know, are they reversible? Absolutely, Mark. It's a matter of, first of all, identifying those culprit or problematic foods. Once we identify those foods, we are then omitting them from our diet for a period of time. Now, depending on what type of response the patient is having, they may have to eliminate that for forever for an IgE reaction mm -hmm. that Veronica had mentioned. Yet you re recommend, you uh, mention reversible. That would be more delayed IgG response. So we're going to take that problematic food from the patient's diet and and then over a period of time, they're going to eliminate it. We recommend approximately 8 to 12 weeks of strict elimination. We slowly reintroduce that problematic food to see if the patient can then start having the food, yet only in moderation. Usually over a period of time, patients will be able to have those foods, yet we do need that uh, gut to heal and that immune system to build up so that we're able to tolerate these food proteins. So is it safe to say that uh, f people can suffer for many, many years, even uh, decades perhaps, taking prescription drugs and never really getting better, never getting to the root of the problem, like the woman I talked about with the depression, you get rid of the wheat and suddenly things clear right up. Is that, is that a common uh, reality? That's true. And that reminds me of a story. Michelle and I went to see a client in Granbury, Texas, and he had a patient who actually wanted to meet us. She had had acid reflux for 18 years and she was actually on disability from work. She'd been to a gastroenterologist, she had had many different prescriptions and procedures and nothing had worked. And then she came to our client who was an ear, nose and throat doctor. He did the IgG food panel on her. She was very compliant because she had mm -hmm. been so sick and her reflux went away, and it actually it changed her life. In addition, she also lost 70 pounds. So it's actually, we're, we're actually redefining the way we look at disease here, so to speak. And we are reworking the brain, hopefully, by changing what the uh, person is eating right. so that they are eating healthier. They're uh, changing their lifestyles in a more positive way to um, 
to achieve better health overall. Let's uh, let's get one more quick call in here before the break. Uh, let's see, we've got here uh, da -da 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 -da. Pat from West Roxbury. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hello, Pat. Yes. Hello, how are you? Do you have a question? Yes, I wanted to know for what conditions and under what circumstances would you recommend food allergy testing? Wanted to take that, Michelle? Well, that's a great question, Pat. Um, first of all, number one, we want to get a good patient history to see uh, what exactly is going on with our patients. And then it will be up to your doctor to determine which test is most appropriate. Now, we know there are many causes and developments of allergies. For example, genetic predisposition, chronic stress, infections, environmental toxins or heavy metals, for example, poor food choices, which are extremely important, alcoholic beverages or lack of exercise. So primarily what we want to do is identify with your doctor the symptoms that, are, that you're going through. We are then going to have some testing done for you based on this history and symptoms and come up with the most appropriate test that your physician recommends for you. Does that help? Thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you so you, much for Pat, calling. For calling. All right, terrific. We're going to take a very short break here. Remember, our numbers here in Boston, New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wallace uses It's a toll-free call, just out pound 96.9. We'll be back with Veronica Kent, Michelle Clark from Alates Medical Labs, talking with you about food allergies. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Severin says. Slow new summer? No way. Not for the best and brightest. I am back tomorrow to rejoin forces with you in pursuit of cheap yachts and freedom. Tomorrow. Talk or thought. J7. Afternoons 2 to 6. 96.9 Boston Talks. If you're like me, then you believe that it's important to create a healthy living environment. I believe that home surroundings are as vital to a healthy lifestyle as sound nutrition. My good friend Bill Hall is the owner and founder of Landscaping by Hall. His unmatched landscaping skills have been helping residents throughout the greater Boston area to create and maintain healthy living environments for nearly 30 years now. Landscaping by Hall specializes in customized design, retaining walls, walkways, patios, living privacy barriers, decks, and property makeovers. Bill Hall is not only a real pro, he's a quality guy who's truly interested in helping you to attain your goals and visions for a healthier, more beautiful living environment. Bill's approach to landscape design is a holistic one, and that's because Bill's approach to life is a truly holistic one. So, whether you're interested in a simple landscape maintenance or a complete property makeover, I urge you to contact my friend Bill Hall. That's Landscaping by Hall at 617-696-5515 or log on to hallscape.com for a healthier, more beautiful living environment. Join the Healthy Living Expo in North Andover Sunday, September 12th, 10 to 4 at the Stevens Estate for a healthy dose of self-exploration and fun. If you have scoliosis or know someone who does, are you discouraged by the limited treatment options of traditional medicine? Visit Dr. Mark Moramarco of Scoliosis 3DC at the Expo. Learn about his unique journey into the field of conservative treatment for scoliosis and how he discovered the Schroth Method of Germany. He'll explain how this three-dimensional non-surgical exercise and breathing approach has helped European patients since the 20s and is now helping those with scoliosis here. Primary goals of the Schroth Method are to halt curve progression, improve breathing function, and quality of life. Call Dr. Moramarco today at 781-938-8558, 781-938-8558, or log on to scoliosis3dc.com. Stop by and visit Dr. Moramarco at the Wellness Expo Sunday, September 12th at the Stevens Estate in North Andover. It's free for the whole family. Explore acupuncture, fitness, chiropractic, yoga, readings, healing, jewelry, nutrition, waking, massage, an outdoor walking labyrinth, and so much more. For information, log on to myhealthylivingmag.com. That's MyHealthyLivingMAG.com. How do you spell pearl necklace? F-R-E-E. -E. If you're not sure that you heard that right, I'll say it again. F-R-E-E. -E. Lustrous, luxurious pearls are a timeless classic. And Stour is giving you a stunning 18-inch genuine cultured pearl necklace valued at $395. These aren't just any pearls. They are large, hand-knotted, 8.5 to 9 millimeter cultured pearls. Pay nothing but shipping and processing, and we'll give you a $25 gift coupon. So this offer's better than free. How can we do this? A tough economy forced a luxury jeweler to sell these pearls to us for pennies on the dollar. Now, we're giving them to you for free, because it's Stowers' goal to build a long-term relationship with you. These classics could disappear in a matter of days, and there's a strict limit of one per household. To make sure you receive your luxurious pearl necklace and $25 gift coupon, you must call now, one 800 200-8977 1-800-200-8977 That's 1-800-200-8977 
7. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. Hey, welcome back. Of course, don't forget, Chris Rappold will be on with Candida at about 5.40 or so, and he, a uh, three-time gold medalist in uh, karate. So he is the man, good friend, can't wait to hear from him, and uh, always has something interesting to share with us. Until then, we're going to take some interesting calls here from you all out there in the world. So let's see here. How about um, Cindy from Stoughton? Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You are on the Natural Health Show. Hi, it's nice to talk to you. Um, I have a question. I have a 15-year-old daughter who has autism. Mm -hmm. And someone had suggested us to us, she's very self-injurious. She, for a long time, would hurt herself or hurt us. Right. At one point, somebody said, what is she eating? Is it possible that she has an MSG allergy? Mm-hmm. allergy? And at first, we were like, we had never heard of anything like that. But then we noticed that there were certain foods that she was eating that were loaded with MSG. So we did the trial and error thing, cut it completely out of her diet for even just a couple of days, would introduce it again, and she would immediately start hurting herself again. Mm -hmm. Well, we've cut all MSG out, but there are still some foods like corn chips and Cheez-Its and goldfish, things that don't say they have MSG, but cause the same reaction. And I'm wondering what it could be that she has an allergy to in those items. Well, before I defer to to the ladies, I think that uh, one of the short answers that I'd like to pitch in here is that it could be an awful lot of other possible things, not just MSG. Michelle, take it away. That's right, Mark. Um, Exactly what you were talking about, those particular uh, foods, is I would recommend number one that your daughter uh, consider having your daughter tested for both IgG and IgE both a delayed and immediate uh, response we see corn as being a highly allergenic food especially with children on the spectrum as well as the the milk you mentioned the the cheese that your child is having Um, we also see wheat and and uh, casein which is more that dairy protein that I had mentioned earlier about the cheese uh, high with these these kids on the spectrum so just eliminating, even if you weren't going to do testing with your child, you could try this trial and error that you had done with her regarding the MSG. One food possibly, try maybe the corn chips, take that out of her diet, see how she does over a couple of weeks, and then look at the dairy. And I imagine over a period of time you will see some improvement. Yet the thing is with sensitivities, food sensitivities, the child can have food cravings. So she may actually feel worse initially when she's eliminating those foods. So be prepared for that. And what I would not recommend you do is have her have a little of the corn chips just to give her a fix of that food. She may then feel a little better, initially seem better, yet she's masking what is going on in her immune system. So if you can just tolerate that for that window of about two weeks and see how she does and then start eliminating those other problematic foods on your own. If you're not confident doing that, you may want to have the testing done and we do test for approximately 96 food allergens and and hopefully we'll be able to identify those problematic foods for your daughter, get her off those foods, and then slowly see how she responds going forward. It's probably a perfect time for you to mention the website and any contact information right now for folks that might be interested in contacting you at Alatest Labs. Well, we actually have a wonderful website, and I welcome everyone to get on it. It is uh, www.foodallergy.com. If you have any questions regarding what we've spoken about today, please feel free to email us. Put it in, in the subject line, talk radio, in both Veronica and myself, we'll get back to you with any questions you may have. You probably have an 800 number, I'm guessing, for folks that don't have a uh, computer or sure. not computer uh, literate or whatever. 800 225 5404, Alatest Medical Laboratory. Terrific. Thank you so much for your call. Mark, can I just add one thing for that last call? Absolutely. There is no cure for autism, unfortunately, at this point in time. But a lot of physicians have found that doing the food sensitivity on these children and getting them off of those reactive foods has improved some of their symptoms. Of course, it takes a tremendous amount of pressure off the immune system. You got it. Absolutely. Let's take another call here. Let's see. We've got Emily from Worcester. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Hi, Health Hi, how are you? Show. Terrific. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, you had mentioned IBS as a symptom of food allergy. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, 
over the years, I've I have IBS, mm-hmm. and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse to the point where pretty much everything I eat goes right through me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of taking control of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, I have had the allergy test where you go in and you know you do all the needles and stuff like that, but I, I mean I don't know. Um, Sure. Really, how good um, that is. <laughs> well, the thing is, with IBS, we we see more of that as being a chronic response. So the, the testing that you had was looking at immediate response. Mm-hmm. That clearly is not going to help identify those digestive issues that you're currently experiencing. Yet you are aware that you have IBS. Now what you need to do is have some sort of dietary manipulation, intervention, so that we can identify the foods, whether it's yeast-containing, if it's gluten a gluten issue, if it's a dairy issue and get you off of those foods and we want to heal the gut this is what's going on with these IBS patients is they have um, intestinal dysbiosis so Mm -hmm. your gut flora is out of balance and what we want to do is get that uh, intestine to be back in balance with good bacteria so that that gut heals and that you're able to digest those food proteins that wheat protein for example that you may be having an issue with and eventually reintroduce that into your diet Okay. And can I just go on your website and, like, speak with my doctor and, and sure. you know, make an appointment? Okay. Absolutely. Why don't you give her the website one more time, too? It's www.foodallergy.com. That's a great site. Easy to, easy to get down. Yes, it is a great one. Thank you so much for your call. Let's see. Let's take another one here. We've got, uh, let's take uh, Mike from Boston. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hey, how are you doing tonight? Thank Terrific. you for taking my you? call. You're welcome. Uh, quick question. I know that uh, in the past, allergists and immunologists uh, have depended on skin testing, mm-hmm. uh, looking at wheel and flare response uh, to anywhere from 20 to 40 uh, skin pricks, and uh, well, it was not a great uh, thing for the patient to have to endure to uh, find out uh, what they were allergic to. I was wondering if you could comment on uh, any newer testing that um, might have uh, come to replace the gold standard of uh, those uh, skin tests that I'm referring to. And secondly, could you talk a little bit more exactly about what your organization or company does? Because I'm not clear as to, I know you're giving a lot of uh, responses to uh, folks' questions, but uh, do you work primarily with uh, healthcare professionals, with public? What is it that uh, your company does? Thank Thank you. Thank you for your call, too. And we're going to make it quick here because we're up against a break. Go ahead, Michelle. Well, we work with healthcare professionals, so the physician is our client in Massachusetts for our lab license we're required to have a physician of record. They are still doing skin testing. The difference is we are from one blood sample testing for many different items. So we're quantifying antibody levels. You can treat right from the results where with a skin test it's measured on a wheel and it's looked at by you know, an allergy nurse for what level reaction that you're having. So what we do is we are testing the blood in our laboratory. We do two different types of testing. We look at immediate food allergy or inhalant allergy and then we also do testing for delayed allergies or de- food sensitivities great good stuff also real, real quick before break i wanted to mention uh, there's a wonderful wonderful product that they have done at good health natural foods developed by dr ellen cutler it's called digest spectrum by enzyme Medica. digest spectrum is a remarkable remarkable enzyme to help folks uh, in the support process against multiple dietary sensitivities including gluten casein uh, dairy lactose phenols etc it's a full spectrum digestive support for carbs proteins fats fiber etc and it can be used with virtually any special diet has no uh, corn rice soy potato gluten casein sugar etc etc so it's a clean uh, support system enzyme that you can pick up down at good health natural foods called digest spectrum and again our numbers here 617-822-1969 verizon wireless users it's a toll-free call just out pound 96.9 we are the natural health show we'll be right back with chris rappold Hope- hopefully he's not beating anybody up in the uh, control room we'll be right back stay tuned Listen, listen, interact, 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 view, view, engage, live, live. 969bostontalks.com. Be a part of the Healthy Living Expo in North Andover, Sunday, September 12th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Stevens Estate for a healthy dose of self-exploration and fun. Explore acupuncture, fitness, chiropractic, yoga, readings, healing, jewelry, nutrition, Reiki, massage, an outdoor walking labyrinth, and so much more. If you suffer from allergies or know someone who does and would finally like to enjoy life allergy symptom free then visit
Visit with Mass Allergy Relief Center at the Expo September 12th and learn how this breakthrough technology can help relieve your allergy symptoms. Their treatments are non-invasive, no needles or drugs, no supplements, just relief. Finally, you can resolve chronic sinusitis, hay fever, food sensitivities, digestive issues, and many other chronic complaints. Call Mass Allergy Relief Center today, 781-274-7700, or visit them online at massallergyrelief.com. And stop by Sunday, September 12th at the Stevens Estate in North Andover. For more, log on to myhealthylivingmag.com. Hi, this is Catherine from Jaro Formulas. We can be found on the web at jaro.com, J-A-R-R-O-W.com. Jaro is a leading manufacturer of dietary supplements. We offer over 300 vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and probiotics. At Jaro, our mission is to provide superior nutrition and formulation. We team with industry leaders and top academic researchers to bring you quality you can depend on. This is exactly why we have partnered with Mark Mancola. Mark brings cutting-edge science and education to his listeners and clients, and we are proud to be part of his team. We look forward to bringing you more information about specific products over the year with Mark and exciting topics. You can buy Jaro formulas at a health food store near you. Find out more about Jaro at Jaro.com. That's J-A-R-R-O-W.com. 96.9 Boston Talks is proud to present Candida, editor and publisher of Healthy Living Magazine. Find out about the who, what, where, and when of New England's health and wellness community on 96.9 Boston Talks. Now, here's Candida. All right, thanks for tuning in. I feel like saying, Chris Rockwell is here. I think I will. <laughs> so excited that you're with us in studio. Oh, well, I'm excited to be here as always. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show for all this time. It's you came with us yes, yes. from our other mm-hmm. station that we were at. Uh, just to give folks a little bit of information, Chris Rappold is owner and founder of Personal Best Karate um, in Norton, Easton, Norwood, and Foxborough. That's correct. He is a master... Um, Actually, he holds a fifth-degree black belt in karate and is a third-time world champion, recently winning his third gold medal at the WAKO Championship in Italy. Yes. That's fascinating. Uh, That was exciting. It it certainly was. Great accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And tonight you're going to be talking with us a little bit. You developed a program. It's called the Anti-Bullying Program, which is now in 23 local school districts. Mm -hmm. How do you do all you do? Well, uh, a little bit of passion and a lot of help from uh, Dr. Mancola. That's nice. (laughs) And a family. Family man as well. I know you wanted to do a quick little shout out. Yeah, some absolutely. Folks listening my, at home. Yeah, my my wife and my uh, two girls, Peyton and Antonia. Nice. Um, yeah, we had a beautiful day today. Nice. But the uh, the anti bullying program actually that I uh, facilitate. I'm not the creator of it. It's called Bully Guard. Bully and Guard. We actually have it in uh, 28 school districts. Wow. And uh, you know, unfortunately, as a result of what happened uh, earlier in the year, with Phoebe Price. In, yeah, yeah. Out in South Hadley, mm-hmm. uh, there's there's really just been an awful lot of uh, interest in it and um, you know sometimes that's the uh, that's the silver lining of something bad happening like this that you know uh, bullying is getting perhaps the attention that it always needed to get for for action to be taken right so I'm really within our the communities that we serve I'm really trying to spearhead that effort and I'm meeting with some school districts and helping them to engineer and architect their policy so mm. that uh, we can keep the children safe absolutely mm-hmm. bullying is it's really um, taken it's it's like a monster now I mean I mean, it's not only face to face that it's happening, but people online and they're texting and yeah. the Facebook stuff. Yeah, and it, the, the, you know the complexity of it definitely has uh, grown from you know when you and I were younger. Right. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just still the same problem. It's definitely a human problem, and with a little bit of education, uh, you know, with the children and also with the parents. That's you right. know, by the way, I think there's and school, some, the schools as well. Absolutely, I think uh, you know everybody uh, everybody needs to play a positive part. I don't think it's uh i don't think it's fair to you know put it all on the schools though a lot of, of course that's a lot of the times that it's it's surfacing right you know i think it's uh people within the community got to do their part setting a good example mm-hmm. i think you know we as adults we have to make sure we set a good example that's you right. know we have to remember that uh you know we're, we're living here in red sox nation mm-hmm. but when we say you know red sox rule and yankees 
mm-hmm. you know. We have to remember that, you know, with with those things that we say and that we mantra, uh, we, we, we have to expect that, you know what, children are probably going to follow suit and say the same thing. But then when they do it, of course, we jump down their throat and we say, well, hey, wait a minute. Right. You you shouldn't be saying that about somebody else. You know, they have feelings. So, so becoming you know, a good role model for your you children know, I, I is think, so important. You know, it's, right. uh, it's, it's multi it's multi leveled at personal best in the four schools that 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 we operate you know we're really doing our part to make sure that the children that we touch are are educated not just in in um, how to deal with bullying when it happens or right. physical bullying if it if it comes to that but also what what are some things that they can do upstream and those are some of the things now that we're sharing on a broader level but certainly within the stu- you know the student body that's one of the big focuses um, you're going to share a couple of tips with us tonight <laughs> aren't you please I'd be happy to because I know the kids are getting ready to go back to school. What are yeah. some of the signs, or what should you look for, or what should you tell your kids? You know, a, a, a real simple thing is uh, with the with the parents. I would say avoid the 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 question that's been asked since the beginning of uh, children going to school, which was, "How was your day today?" Right. Because what what are we going to get back? We're going to get <laughs> good. <laughs> and Thanks. Some, exactly. And sometimes just a grunt, right? Right. Uh, you know. So one of the tips that I share with the parents is, uh, you know, forget that question because you know what the answer is going to be and uh, be in tune with your children and mm-hmm. ask the question who'd you hang out with today mm-hmm. because uh, knowing my daughters I can I can start to understand how her day was uh, or how their day were based on who they hung out with mm-hmm. and if I hear you know oh well I didn't hang out with this person today then what I can do is oh why what was that other person doing and right. and it, it just what it does is it takes the conversation somewhere and then hey you know what as parents we got to back in and oh did you learn anything today right <laughs> you know but but certainly from the standpoint of getting a little bit more traction and just communication with uh, parents that's always a, a good one that I recommend that's right mm-hmm. yeah there's a difference between a closed end question and an open end question <laughs> where you're gonna get more information from yeah it. absolutely that's but a great you know, point but just as uh, you know out of habit I think that's what we do at times you know right. so so that's one. Yeah. Anything else? You know, I like think, what if something is already in the process of yeah. happening? I, you know, I think monitor the way uh, the way your child walks uh, mm-hmm. and monitor the way they talk. And if you have the opportunity, watch your child, uh, how they interact with their uh, uh, classmates and friends when they uh, think you're not watching. Mm-hmm. I've had the opportunity uh, to be in school and uh, actually view both Speak my daughters. Speak by the school yard. Yeah, well, you know, no, no, I, I still do that every know, once in a while. Yeah, just, to, you know, volunteer. Volunteering and, and such, and uh, you know it's interesting. You you want to kind of take a look at as a parent. You know how do they carry themselves? Do they walk? You know, with their chin up, eyes looking forward. Are mm-hmm. they you know friendly? Are they outgoing? Mm-hmm. Are they an energy giver? You know what are what are some of those things? Um, uh, are they socially awkward? You know because that's where we mm-hmm. can that's where we can uh, help a child. You know, and that's some of the things that we do at Personal Best. You know, it's if <clears throat> you go into a school, there's uh, the call it the popular kids and and they, you know they're going to they're they, they're definitely going to deal with conflict but uh, let's say for a, a second that they're above being bullied then you have the children at the other end of the spectrum that have severe physical or mental handicaps mm-hmm. they might be in a wheelchair or they might be you know mentally retarded something like that what what seems to happen is they get a great deal of compassion because uh, everybody looks at them it's almost a badge of honor to mm-hmm. push that wheelchair down the the corridor so you know the your classmates will say point to you and say gee look at you aren't you a compassionate person what we found with the children that typically get targeted for bullying it's it's the children that that might have a little learning disability or something or they're just socially awkward right. they just you know there's something about them that that's that per, uh, potentially uh, is viewed by the bullies as a as a weakness that person could be a target so you know asking the parents just to be in tune and, and just watch real closely mm-hmm. how their child responds and is uh, how they act in social situations I think is another good one have good communication with the teacher you know awesome. teachers uh, uh, you never bother a teacher by sending an email or sending a little note how a thing is going mm-hmm. uh, but too many times parents and we're all busy but we say uh, you know I oh I don't want to bother the teacher and then, unfortunately, a situation happens, and the first time the teacher hears from you is when problems are happening. Right. So it immediately creates this adversarial role. So I'd say always check in with the teacher. Just from time to time, drop a little note or an email, and right. just you know, 
How's everything going? That's Is good. everything okay? It sounds like staying connected is really the best way. Yeah, I sounds think it like is. Again, idea. it's a, it's a. There's not. I wish we could say there's you know one pill to take and it, it'll all go away, but it's just uh, being. Not on the show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. You know? <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, those are those are some I think good good tips. Great. Mm-hmm. Talk about your school. I know you're offering uh, listeners today a 30 day free trial yeah, for their you children know, if they're listening. Thank absolutely, you. Absolutely, we do, and it's my pleasure. And thank you for all of the work all of you do. You know, at the uh, at the school we teach men, women, children. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a it's a family uh, family schools, and I'm real proud of the quality of education that happens there. You know, we have all professional teachers. This Great. is what they do, and you know, five six days a week. And how many years now? Uh, Nineteen. School? 19 years. 19 years. Wow. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're real excited about that. Great. But uh, just to make it easy, if anybody lives in, in the areas that we service, right. you know, we'd like to offer them a free 30-day trial at our program. And bring a friend, too. Uh, yeah, and, and I also added that is uh, they could bring a friend along and they can enjoy it with you. It would include a, a couple private lessons, which we always start our students out with, just so right. just so a parent can see how we interact with the child and the child can see if it's something that they're really interested in. We uh, throw in a uniform and uh, 30 days uh, in classes. So it's uh, it's uh, no risk and... Uh, and know. a lot of fun. Oh, it's a ball. It's a blast. And, you know, the uh, the program really affects children's behavior in a very positive way and where children are kind of getting geared up and back to school. I can't think of a better activity for children than that. Okay. You know, so so many times I hear, and it's, it's one of the nicest compliments we get uh, being in the schools. I'll have a teacher come up to me and say, you know, I didn't know they were studying at your school, but I could... I kind of thought so because mm-hmm. of some of the you know the just the the, the etiquettes that the the children just uh, pick up from the way that we do things the teachings the yeah. discipline the practice the whole absolutely. thing absolutely absolutely so you also have um, some of the bullies also it would be a good candidate for your school because you kind of help them relate with some of the other kids it's not just for the timid kid what most people might think trying to boost their self-esteem right you know, um, no, it, they're it, bullying for a reason. There's something going on. Yeah, there is. And, you know, I always use the uh, example if you uh, if you put a child in a room with a piano by themselves, uh, you know, most of the children that don't uh, have never had any experience with that, they're going to go up and bang on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you teach a child to play music, and you put that child in the room with a piano, and because there's such a respect... You would never see that behavior exhibited. So, uh, believe it or not, there are a lot of parents that seek us out because uh, you know they un- they understand that we have a, a very specific teaching method for reinforcing right. the values uh, that that um, you know they want you know uh, that are typically taught in the home, but they might need a little help or assistance with. Right. That mm-hmm. new movie help you out? Well, the new old movie, The Karate uh, Kid. <laughs> uh, karate Kid can never hurt. Right. You know, and they had a. Uh, we ha- actually had one of uh, the stars from the movie uh, Visit Our School. Really? Uh, Great. The, um, uh, Matt Emig was his name. Oh, He's nice. uh, on my uh, karate team, and he won the National Karate Kid Challenge. And actually, one of my uh, former teammates uh, actually trained Jaden Smith for what? the past really? two years uh, to get him ready for that. So they they did a nice job. Anytime you take an iconic movie like that, uh, it's always a bit of a risk, but I thought they did a nice job. They did. They did yeah. a great job. Excellent. Well, thank you, Chris Rappel, for being here, founder of Personal Best Karate. It's www.personalbestkarate.com. They have studios in Norwood, Easton, Norton, and Foxborough. Hey, Mark, you want to say something? I want to say this is a very special man. It's a great pleasure to know him and to have uh, enjoyed his company for a good many years. And people don't understand the wonderful stuff he does during the year, throughout the year. He's uh, he's always giving free turkeys out at Thanksgiving and giving so much of his time and energy to people. Thank you. And he's a pretty special man. So, Chris, it is great to have you on board. Thank you so much for coming in. That's my pleasure. All right, we're going to take a short break. 96.9 Boston Talks. We'll be right back. Questioning authority is a Boston tradition, and the tradition lives on right here. Any questions? 96.9 Boston Talks. For more than 18 years, Personal Best Karate has been teaching character education, physical fitness, and self-defense skills to people of all ages. Led by three-time world karate champion Chris Rappold and his highly trained and motivated staff, you're sure to find a -a one-of-a-kind program that is just right for you and your family. Learn firsthand how Personal Best Karate can transform your life by giving their new amazing introductory offer a try. Now for only $19.95, you'll receive two private lessons and an official Personal Best Karate uniform. You'll immediately see just how easy it is to improve your self-confidence 
confidence, your mental focus, and your health and fitness. The helpful staff at Personal Best Karate will arrange a convenient schedule and design an affordable program to help you achieve your personal best goals. That's Personal Best Karate with locations in Easton, Foxborough, Norton, and Norwood. Check them out on the World Wide Web at personalbestkarate.com or call them at 508-285-5425. Manifest your best at Personal Best Karate. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. Michael from Plymouth, welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk. You're on the Natural Health Show. Thank you. I have a question. Um, I've had uh, gastrointestinal issues. Mm-hmm. And do you think uh, taking probiotics would help me? And could you explain what probiotics are, please? Well, probiotics are basically healthy floral bacteria. We, there's obviously good bacteria and bad bacteria in the world. The good news is 99% of the bacteria in our world is good bacteria. So obviously bad bacteria can be the end result of poor digestion, digestive problems, and leaky gut syndrome, etc. So um, these are real stabilizing agents for people who have very uh, gingerly digestive tracts. So there's no question. Uh, you know, We talk often about the JARO formulas. I still like the EPS JARO formula is one of our other sponsors makes a terrific terrific uh floral support called eps extended probiotic system give it a try okay one other question Mm -hmm. i was listening to michelle earlier um what kind of follow-up would i get if i was to be uh tested for food sensitivities well that's a great question uh michael Actually, what we do is once uh, you get your test results, um, we have registered dietitians on staff who will customize an eating plan specifically for you. So our nutritionists combine a four-day elimination rotation eating plan, and we will provide you also then with a shopping list of healthy foods that you're allowed to eat. Once you receive this plan from your doctor, our nutritionists are available to you, Michael, for any kind of support that you may need via email or calling our laboratory. We have certain call days. So feel free, um, if you have the opportunity to have the testing done, to take advantage of that additional service that we offer at Alatess. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Let's take uh, one more call. Lori from West Bridgewater. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks here on the Natural Health Show. Hi. I, was just, I have a couple questions. Um, mm-hmm. My husband has Tourette's syndrome, mm-hmm. and I didn't know if, you know, this could be allergy-related or if there's any kind of um, vitamin that he could take or supplements. Well, first of all, it, it indeed can be. Um, I'll let Michelle tackle the rest of that question. We've got to make it quick because uh, we're running low on time. And thank you so much for calling. I appreciate your call. Thank you. So um, as far as Tourette's uh, in general, obviously, you're, you know, he's been diagnosed with that. Uh, we see many, many symptoms um, f- throughout with, with regard to our patients. Uh, the thing is, it is not necessarily directly related to food allergy or food sensitivity, yet I imagine if we did do some testing on your on your husband and we were able to identify what foods could be uh, causing him problems, you w- would see some sort of, he would see some sort of relief from his symptoms that he is uh, currently experiencing, but is not necessarily food allergy, IgE or IgG related. Yet again, there is issues that he probably would benefit from having the testing done. Well, again, you know, when you think about the, uh, the, the information that's been shared with us by Dr. James Braley, who, by the way, folks, uh, has written a very interesting book. Uh, Dr. James Braley has written a book called Dr. Braley's Food Allergy and Nutrition Revolution book. Two minutes. And uh, that book really goes into great detail about the over 100 allergic symptoms and over 150 medical conditions that are oftentimes uh, at least indirectly, if not directly associated with uh, food intolerances, food allergies, etc. So um, I would highly recommend his book and certainly, uh, again, the the remarkable website that uh, these folks have, Alatess Medical Laboratories, has a great website. Michelle, give the website again. It's www.foodallergy.com, phone number 800-225-5404. We welcome any kind of communication to the laboratory. We'd be more than happy to help you, and we look forward to getting you toward better health. Great information. Of course, I do want to remind everybody one more time, Digest Spectrum. I talked about 
about it. It's a, a remarkable uh, support uh, that Good Health Natural Foods has. It's made by Enzyme Medica, E N Z Y M E D I C A, Enzyme Medica. They are the enzyme experts, and uh, they make a wonderful product called One Digest minute. Spectrum. And while wow, this hour goes by way too quickly, but uh, I'd like to thank our guests, of course, Veronica Kent, Michelle Clark from Alates Medical Laboratories. Thank you guys so much for being on board. Mark, thanks, thanks for having us. So much. Love to get really you back on. It. Thank you so much. And again, thank you to three-time gold medal karate master Chris Rappold for uh, being such a good friend and showing up here uh, on short notice. And thanks, of course, to, to producer John Parker, who always steers the ship right down the middle, and to intern extraordinary Brett Miguez, to podcast and webmaster Adam Ng. Of course, if you want to watch this particular program on podcast, go to our website. If you want to look at any of the archive programs or listen, www.max healing.com just one word maxhealing.com and you can review those and uh, wow this time goes far too quickly but uh, you're in good luck because the next program is phenomenal of course stay tuned for right turn radio with abby and woody remarkable program stay tuned for them until next sunday at five o'clock this is mark mincola reminding everybody out there please be wise be aware be well make it a healthy week good night